Well, we promised you day three would be crazy, and uh, it has lived up to the hype. Thanks for hanging with us on Eagles Draft Central, presented by Dietz and Watson. Fran and Ross, we have a lot to get to. The Eagles have made a pick. They traded back that pick 146 to 164. Then they traded back again to pick 168. That selection, wide receiver John Hightower from Boise State. But I also want to mention, before we get into that, that there are reports that the Eagles have also traded with the 49ers for wide receiver. Receiver Marquise Goodwin, uh, one of the fastest players in the NFL. But let's break down Hightower's game. Speed again, Ross, another very, very fast playmaker. Yeah, I mean, there is a theme for the Philadelphia Eagles this year, and it is speed, upside, untapped potential across the board. He's got good size. He's almost 6'2", 4'440 at the combine, but he even in junior college – was an All-American in the 400 hurdles. The knocks on him are that he's a little bit slender. He actually reminds me a little bit of a former Eagles receiver, Todd Pinkston. And I know people say, well, Pinkston wasn't, you know, a, a Pro Bowl player or whatever. Todd Pinkston was a starter on some really good Eagles teams. So if you get Hightower here and he ends up becoming like Todd Pinkston, I think that would be an awesome selection. There's some untapped potential there, but you just start with the height, the frame, and the speed. I'm not really worried about his ability to gain a little bit of weight if they even want him to gain any weight and get thicker. 6'1", 189, ran a 4'4", 340 at the Combine. Uh, speed again. Fran, let's talk about this player um, from your scouting perspective. What do you like about him? Yeah, I thought Ross really kind of hit the nail on the head in terms of what he brings to the table. Certainly his long speed. You know, watching him, Ross, the Todd Pinkston comparison is really interesting. I kind of went back to a Philadelphia native in Will Fuller, and obviously he was a first-round pick. Pinkston, I believe, was a second-round pick. Well, you're, So you're talking about getting a guy in round five who's got long speed. He was a good kick returner at the college level. I, still, I agree. I think that there's some untapped potential here. I think his best football may be ahead of him. I've talked with some scouts around the league that – we're very high on this guy and thought that he could go in the middle of day two. Now here we are in the middle of day three, and the Eagles get him off the board. That's why, to me, when you look at Jalen Rager and that selection in round one, there was Rager, there were K.J. Hamler, there were a couple other speed receivers at the top of this draft. They say, okay, these guys have legit speed. Then I thought it kind of went downhill a little bit. John Hightower, one of those last ones that I feel like you had game-breaking speed at the wide receiver position. The Eagles pluck another one off the board. So, Ross, now two receivers the Eagles have selected in this draft so far, which is shouldn't really be a surprise to most people. A lot of people thought that they may take two receivers in this class. How do you compare and contrast the different things that Hightower and Rager will bring to an offense? Well, it's interesting, Amy, because if you look at the receivers the Eagles have drafted the last couple of years, they're all different. You know, Rager is about 5'10", 5 5'11", Thicker build, but absolutely electric with the ball in his hands when he gets the ball underneath slants, wide receiver screens, but can also take the top off the defense. Arthago Whitesides, the bigger body, red zone, third down by the sideline. And Hightower is just speed to burn on the outside, but a taller guy than Rager. He's not really the guy. I mean, he's got pretty good run after catch. But he's not really the guy that you're going to throw the underneath stuff to, the slants, wide receiver screens. He's not going to be a gadget guy. I don't think like jet sweeps. He's going to be a guy that I think, similar to Rager, can take the top off the defense. We talked about this all the way back on Thursday night. The Eagles realized what a difference it made in their offense when they had a deep threat versus when they did not a year ago. It opens up everything underneath for Ertz and Goddard and Miles Sanders and all the Eagles studs. If you at least have a guy that is a threat to take the top off the defense like John Hightower. Well, and this is a guy who averaged 18 and a half yards per catch last season, eighth best in college football. Uh, and Fran, I'm wondering, you were at the Shrine um, East West Shrine game. Did you get to talk to him at all? Did you get a feel for what kind of person he is? 
I actually did not talk with Hightower, but I, I will say this, and I wanted to bring that up from the Shrine Bowl, was that, you know, they did, it's not like they were throwing deep bobs every single day, but I went, I, you get a little bit later in the week, you know, and typically at those all-star settings, the red zone stuff happens late. He was excellent down in the red zone, getting off press coverage, going up and fighting for the football. He made some outstanding catches in the back of the end zone as well on crossing routes. I think you look at John Hightower again, goes down to these all-star games, and he, he had a good performance down there at the Shrine Bowl in St. Petersburg in January. Okay, Eagles picking again shortly at pick 173 and if they don't trade back. So we will be right back here on Eagles Draft Central as soon as the pick is announced to break it all down. See you then.